this is some 16 square millimeter wire, this is some roughly 1 millimeter solder, and this is my OU2901, and it's set for 450 degrees, and we're just going to solder this wire, because I made an oopsie. Let's see how long this takes. I've done a few of these joints already, but I figured this would be a pretty okay demonstration of just how much raw power you can get out of this iron because um, this is a pretty high thermal load I'm just gonna uh, basically keep adding tin until no more goes in it's of course not going to be able to uh, distribute the heat to the entire area of wire at once just because of thermal resistance and how most of the heat is just uh, traveling away along the length of a wire as you can see, it's taking tin pretty well. The solder is a bit weird. It's very old, and I think it was pretty cheap stuff when it was new. It's been sitting in a garage for like 30 years. But it's the only fat stuff I have. I did one of these joints with my normal... 0.7mm uh, solder, but it just took like 2 meters of solder and I figured, nope, not going to do that. Oh, just a bit starting to get a joint here. I'm going to call that good enough. There we go, soldering 16 square millimeter wire and with a 72 uh, ish watt iron. And just for reference, uh, have a look at uh, how the heat is spread out into the wire. We're at 80 degrees at the insulation rods of the joint and 60, 50, 40. Uh, we're starting to get down to room temperature somewhere around here, but the wire's noticeably warm to the touch, just uh, around here it's a bit normal. So we're really heating up this entire stretch of wire in both directions. And just so you don't think I'm cheating you, here's a view all the way around the wire. And while I can't uh, speak for how deep it's penetrated, uh, we do have solder adhesion all the way around.